Oh, boys and girls, it is that time again. It's sticker book o'clock. The World Cup is on the horizon. So, of course, I have the official Panini World Cup 2022 sticker album. I've got a big old box full of stickers as well. Nine-year-old Kev would be so jealous that we can just get the entire box and spend an afternoon opening stickers these days. But that's exactly what we're going to do. Get all these open. Look to get this book as close to full as possible. I think there's some some weird parallels stickers in this album for the first time as well, which is a little bit different from traditional stickering for those of us who've been doing the Panini albums since the 1990 World Cup. That's very new. What am I supposed to stick in my book? I'll hopefully figure that out as I go, but no, no time to waste. I've got stickers to open. And that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get the... Uh, Get the album and starter pack stuff open first. I got all this off of the Panini website. Uh, I think they are all available in your normal places where you can get sticker albums from now, though. Um, I did decide to go for the uh, the traditional soft album uh, because this is what I've had since I was a kid. It would be wrong to go to the hardcover ones now. This is the last World Cup that's going to have a Panini sticker album as well. So I feel like the collection needs to be consistent all of the way through. So this is the starter pack. You do get, we switch to the overhead camera, you get a couple of stickers in the front there, and there's usually a few more in the back here. We've got a few more stickers in the back. It is it is traditional that I tear these because I am a buffoon when it comes to getting them out of the out of the album. So we're probably gonna probably gonna rip those. I should probably peel them and stick them before we get to the point where we uh, we're capable of ripping them. But the album itself a little bit different from convention because they've changed how they're doing the the numbering in the album. Um, each page is kind of individually numbered rather than you just going all the way through. So we've got the Qatar 1 to 20, and then you go 1 to 20 again for Ecuador. So it's going to be, for me, a little bit more complicated to do my swaps. But there's the England players that we've got in the books for those of you who, like me, are English and want to know... Um, officially what the England squad for the World Cup is. I presume that's exactly what this is. And you can see that on each page, um, you're getting a team photo. I guess that's a spot for a, a shiny badge. And then 18 players per nation. And of course, we then go through, I'm not going to go through every page of the sticker album now, but I just want to see what we've got at the end. Once we get to the end of the teams, there's usually a few spots at the back for some... Uh, for something a little bit different. There we go. So we've got a timeline of the World Cup. A couple of pages at the back where we can fit a few more bits and bobs in as well. Uh, but we're not here to look at the book today. We're here to get some stickers open. So you get one, two, three, four, five packs with the starter set, plus the 100 packs that we've got here. Let's get these stickers open. So here we go then. 105 packs to open up. And let's, uh, let's go... Get stuck in and see what we've got. I think the uh, they don't want to slide out of the packs at all, do they? Very sticky. The uh, the ones that are a little bit unique and a little bit different have different coloured outlines on them. They feel so small, like really, really tiny. Can we zoom the camera in a little bit more? And um, that looks like that's as far in as the camera is going to zoom. Um, this is going to take absolutely forever because they're so small and don't want to slide out of the packs. This is insane. I've got too used to Pokemon cards, clearly. Um, but there you go. I think we've got... Oh, it's a shiny. It's not one of the different colored outlines, but we've got the uh, a shiny badge and tiny, tiny little stickers. But the thing that's going to confuse me when doing the book, as you can see on the back, because they're not um, in number order, like we were saying before, um, I don't know where Portugal is in the book, for example. Um, so for me to go and stick that Portugal sticker in, it's not just to, I can't, it's not easy for me to put all of the stickers in order and then go through the book in order and stick them in. It's going to take an absolute age to go through and fill the book, which is which is ridiculous. Right, let's get another pack open. Obviously, my goal number one is to completely fill England, and then goal number two is fill the rest of the book because we want the whole book to be filled up. I'm I, as a as an old man. I'm less worried about the parallels, the the fancy different colored stickers that don't go in the book, because quite frankly, if they don't go in the book, they are pretty useless to me. I want I want my stickers in the book. I want to fill the book. That's all I'm really interested in. Um, it's a little bit, one of the reasons I've always kind of stayed away from football cards um, and stuck with the stickers is because it's just 
simpler for my tiny brain to understand, but I do get that for uh, for the collectors, and obviously this is a, a big thing now, football cards, football stickers, um, collectors want the stuff that has different rarities and is a little bit more unique, and I get all that. It's just a little bit of a shame for the World Cup sticker collection to veer in that direction when traditionally it's just been about trying to fill your book, and that's all I really care about. Look at that wedge of packs of stickers. That is utterly ridiculous right let's there you go. see we, we're getting the technique down now um i still can't get over how tiny the stickers seem to be and five stickers in a pack seems like less um than we've got previously as well so i feel like i'm being double swindled with small stickers and a small number of stickers in each pack but maybe maybe i'm not i need to go back and watch an older video to uh work out if we are getting fewer stickers, I know there's been stuff in the media about the ridiculous cost of actually completing the entire book, which does seem really, really high. My, uh, We've talked about it a little bit on stream, though. No one is going to go out and pay £800 or whatever it is to complete the set because you're not going to, when you've got five or ten stickers left that you need, you're not going to keep buying packs at that point. You're going to, I think once you get down to the final 50, you can usually write off to Panini and just pick them individually so you can finish the book that way. It's certainly how I've finished books in the past. Um, I'm not going to be still buying packs. Much beyond this initial additional 100 packs, really, I think this will get me a big chunk of the book complete. And from then on, I think through trades and buying individual stickers direct from Panini, we've got Neymar there, um, I think we can probably fill the book. That's the... That's certainly how I've done it previously. And talking of doing trades, um, I do plan to do a little bit more in the way of trades compared to what I've done in, uh, certainly for the Euros, when we were still not really able to go out and about and do trades. We did a little bit more for the World Cup last time around. We did a meet-up at Nuneaton Town Football Club and then did a load of uh, sticker trading afterwards. But we've got the EGX Football Manager panel coming up in a couple of weeks where it's myself, Work the Space, Zealand, and Nerdphonic are going to be doing a football manager panel at EGX, the gaming convention that happens every year in London at the XL. Um, we're going to be there. And then after that, we've got a meet and greet where the four of us are going to be able to um, just hang out in the meet and greet area at EGX. And you lot can come along and have a chat with us and all that kind of stuff. So I'm thinking I'm just going to take over that meet and greet and make it a uh, swap area. So if anyone is going to be at EGX to watch the panel or come to the meet and greet, bring your trades with you, bring your swaps. I will have mine with me too. Let's get our uh, let's get our books complete at EGX. What better use is there of a uh, of a gaming convention? Look how happy Harry Maguire looks to be on a World Cup sticker. He's absolutely delighted. Why can't they all be the same way up? Why am I constantly turning stuff over? I also don't know what the codes on the back of the stickers are for. Um, I guess it's only on the rarer ones, I think. Maybe it's, I don't know. I'm too old to care. I'm sure there's an app. I'm sure there's all sorts of other stuff as well. I literally just want to complete the sticker book, please. That's all I want. I'll, I'll happily trade some of the rarer stickers. I haven't seen any of yet, unless I don't really know what I'm looking for. Um, but if we've got any of the ones with the red outlines, I think that's something to look out for, that kind of stuff. I'd, uh, I'm more than likely going to be looking to swap those for stuff that I actually need to finish my book because finishing the book is the only goal any self-respecting World Cup sticker collector should have. Get the book full. Right. We are still barely making an indentation on this massive pile of packs that we've got. Um, I'm not noticing much in the way of doubles yet, which is good. Um, I haven't actually looked to see how many stickers there are in the collection compared to what they've been um, in previous years. It feels about the same. I guess there's there's more teams at this year's World Cup, certainly compared to the Euros again, but I think there's less of the the non-just player team stuff. There you've got the Wales team photo there. Um I'm going to try and pick out any that are particularly interesting as we go through. Obviously, if we if we get a Cristiano Ronaldo or a Messi or something like that, 
Um, I imagine Ronaldo's in that picture. Does that count? Can I now clickbait this video? I pulled Cristiano Ronaldo with my first box of World Cup stickers. Absolutely, I can. That's probably what this video was called. <laughs> got to, got to get those sweet, sweet views. Um, why are they not all the same way up? For goodness sake, tiny little upside down stickers, the bane of my existence already. Um, nice shiny Italy team picture, and then Christian Eriksen. I know he's a double because he was one of the um, he was one of the stickers that was in the book. One of the ones that I didn't tear. I have gone through and carefully removed them and stuck them in. Um, I know there was Ericsson, Tielemans, Grealish, and some others, um, but they were the they were the ones that I remembered as I was sticking in. Believe it or not, the Premier League ones. Who'd have thought? I assume they're the same in every book as well. So it seems a little bit weird that stickers that are in every book, unless they are different, the France team pick there. Um, why would you put them in packs as well? Because surely everybody who's collecting these, has the book and therefore should have the free stickers that come with the book. The Brazil, I think that's, yeah, the 1958 Brazil historical team picture there, which is pretty cool. Two shinies in the one pack. That's nice. We like getting double shinies. Um, I've not noticed any, uh, I guess we've had Neymar. I was going to say we've not had any mega, mega superstars yet, but I guess... Yes, Neymar. We've probably all heard of Neymar. I mean, these are all international footballers. There's plenty. There's plenty of good stuff here. But we want. We want Messi. We want Messi. We want Ronaldo. They're the. They're the two big ones, I guess. We get Rafinha and Cameroon. It's not quite on the same level. So we're. I guess we're still. We're winning with Neymar at the moment. Um, I've just remembered, I think Bruno Fernandes as well was one of the other stickers that came free and I've just forgotten about him. So there were four Premier League ones and I remembered them all. <laughs> Honest. I didn't forget about Bruno Fernandes until just now. Um, there we go. Keep ploughing through. I haven't seen anything with these strange outlines. Maybe I've misread it and there aren't any different coloured outlines. Although I think they are pretty rare. I saw somewhere it was like a one in a hundred chance of getting one of these rare stickers, which does make me think what on earth is the point of them other than just setting up some false scarcity to get people all giddy, which I know that's exactly what it is. I'm giddy enough. It is. It's Gabriel Jesus. There we go. See a, pro a proper star. That's now the best player we've got so far. Um, Matt Turner's ever got double Arsenal in that pack. Lovely, lovely. Um, we keep... Keep working through. Perhaps we're going to get the uh, we're going to get a, a run of good stuff now. We've had the double Arsenal pack. That's what we were looking for, really. I, I mean, I don't, I can't even tell. There still seems to be a pile of of packs here that seems just as big as it was when I started. They are. It is not getting any smaller. That's for sure. Um, but let's keep. Going, I'm making such a mess of my desk as well, and it's starting to creep into the shop. Oh, it's all going wrong. It's disastrous. There we go. I think we might have to take a brief pause in a moment just to clean up some of these packs I'm throwing across my desk. It's my mate Virgil! One of my boys off of the streamer showdown. Lovely, lovely, lovely. See, we're, we're, we're getting a few of my boys now. I bet that USA team badge is... Uh, Fairly sought after amongst the uh, the American viewership. I'd like the England one, please. Oh, I mean, I want them all. There's, there's, that's the thing about stickers. To me, it's very different from doing cards because every sticker has equal value as far as I'm concerned because they're all they all have the same contribution towards finishing the sticker book. Romelu Lukaku. Come on, ah, my pile is falling. Right, let's tidy that pile up. And try not to tear the stickers as I'm opening them. I've kind of got a technique going here, but it's a little bit a little bit rough. I don't know what that is. It's half of something. And then we have a stadium picture. And I think we're just going to put these to one side because that pile is falling. Right, we're going to take that half-time pause to tidy up a little bit. And this is what I mean about it feeling that like the pile's not getting any smaller. We've still got all of these to go. So... We continue plugging away. 
now I have tidied things up a little bit, we're going to start getting all the superstars now. That's what I've decided. I mean, yeah. No superstars there, boys and girls. Oh, I've taken a nick out of that stick. I bet that's going to be a good one as well. Um, Qatar team pick. Double shinies. Lovely, lovely. So we've now got USA and Canada as shiny team badges. Can we get England, please? We've got the Costa Rica team pick and the Saudi Arabia team pick and a name so long they've had to reduce the font size. It's always good to see. That's when you know it's the World Cup when you've got lots of fiddling going on with uh, font sizes. Di Maria there is another another rare player I've heard of. Denmark team pick. And there we go. Oh, my, my tearing finger is getting tired. Danny Ward, he's in my FPL team. That means he must be good. Argentina, there you go. We've had Messi and Ronaldo. I assume Messi's in that team pick. Uh, yeah, he is. There we go. We've pulled Messi and Ronaldo in our first box, and no one can say I'm a liar. It might not be their standalone stickers, but there is a pit that Messi and Ronaldo have both appeared on stickers that we've pulled today. So clickbait, ahoy. I make no apologies for it. I've got kids to feed and more stickers to buy. Connor Cody. Told you the stars are going to start coming now. Um, there we go. Oh, the never-ending pile of stickers. God, they're getting... Some of them are very stiff to get out of the packs as well. Um, keep flicking through. Come on now. Give us, give us something to get really, really giddy and excited about. I want to get giddy. Get over there, you stupid pack of stickers. Alfonso Davies, Thiago Silva, who... Thiago Silva, I think, was another... He's the fifth Premier League player. I've forgotten from the freebies. He was definitely on there as well. Um, so, oh, there you go. We've got Kylian Mbappe. See, he's he's famous. I've heard of him. So we've got Mbappe and uh, two players from my Kylian Mbappe series in the same uh, in the same pack. And there we go, Mbappe! Hooray! Now we can clickbait it. I pulled Ronaldo, Messi, and Mbappe from one box. Oh, you're going to be so cross if you were here expecting to see those. Who knows? They might still come. I've got loads of... There are loads of packs left to open. They might all still be in here. And then the clickbait was for nothing. We've got Brazil. We've missed a sticker there. Brazil team shot. So any Brazilians we wanted to add to the clickbait, we now can. But of course, we've already had Neymar separately and Fred. So the two big famous Brazilians we've already had as individual stickers, Senegal team pick there as well. Keep opening stickers. We're going to have to do another stop at a minute to clean up some of the mess that is starting to form. It is taking over my desk again. Morocco team picture. I am already wondering how on earth I'm going to sort these into any kind of order to <laughs> get them into the album. It's going to take me the rest of the day. That one just says FIFA. Lovely. I wonder if we have one that says Football Manager as well. Because that's obviously what it's referencing. Video games. Nothing to do. Nothing to do with anything else. It can only mean video games. Um, right. Why do we have to keep turning them over? Okay. Come on. Somebody good. We need something to get giddy about. And I'm not getting geared, giddy about Harry Wilson. Paul Pogba, there you go. Should we get giddy about Paul Pogba? Pogba and Mbappe now. We're, we're building a French team, apparently. Um, we have bottom half of a World Cup, I guess that is. And... Okay, Fabinho in there as well. Throw the stickers away. I'm talking about them taking over the screen. There's every chance I've zoomed in a little bit more when this was being edited and you're not seeing the pile of stickers that I can clearly see on screen. Uh, but I'm also noticing, because the stickers are so tiny, just how how little of the screen real estate they're taking up, and I probably have zoomed in, so you probably can't see the big pile. But let's not worry about that. Let's keep talking about it. I assure you, 
it's there. Um, Yuri Tielemans was one we've already got as well. He was, and I remembered him before. So we've picked up most of the ones that we already had. We're getting swaps already. We don't want swaps already. We want we want fresh stickers, please. Ecuador. Um. Oh my. Uh, my. Oh, ho, ho, there you go. We've got Diogo, Diogo Jota as well, but he is overshadowed because we have some guy called Messi. It's not even going to be clickbait. It's going to be real. We're going to get Ronaldo as well now. We have Messi. Lovely, lovely. Next pack, we'll get Ronaldo. And then I can I can really go to town. If we get... We've got the England team shot. We've got Mbappe. We've got Messi. We've got Neymar. We've got Yuri Tielemans twice. Now we just need... We just need Ronaldo and we can retire from sticker opening. Who cares about filling the book? I care about filling the book. That's who cares. We have got loads of packs left to open, though. So there is still every chance of pulling that Ronaldo, which will make the uh, make the internet get all upset. And I am all for upsetting the internet. It is kind of what I live for. Brazil team pick again. I think that is a double. I'm sure I've already seen that because we're planning on using it as our way to say that we had Neymar, even though we already had Neymar. Um, right, one more pack, then we're tidying up again because the desk is being taken over once again. And then we go and get Ronaldo in the final piles that we've got. Or Keith Moore. Keith Moore is exciting too. I agree. The pile still doesn't look much smaller. But uh, we continue pushing through it. We're moving these piles out of the way to give us a little bit more space to continue opening up these packs as the hunt for Cristiano. My boy Timmy, the hunt for Cristiano Ronaldo continues. We're putting together quite a nice streamer showdown squad here as well. But a lot of my a lot of my regulars, Ansu Fati, as uh, I've heard of him. He can do a football, so I've heard. Come on. Where's Ronaldo? We're Ronaldo hunting. We are not hunting for Toby Alderweireld or Timo Werner. Although, Timo Werner, if we're doing our showdown squads, another one of my boys. Always good for a goal in a streamer showdown. Um, but none of these look a lot like Cristiano Ronaldo just yet but i guess we've got gabriel jesus so we've got the better player we just need the more famous man with charlison in there as well and if that comment about ronaldo upset you by the way please tell me about it in the comments section it really does help with interaction on the video with the algorithm so by all means tell me i'm wrong i will i'm here for it i want to hear i want to know that i'm wrong of course in reality, we all know I'm right. You know I'm right. Even Manchester United fans know I'm right now. Right, come on. Where is he? We're Ronaldo hunting. Surely Panini aren't going to put Ronaldo, Neymar, Messi and Mbappe in the same box. Do they have control over what goes into the box or is it random? We've got three shinies in this one. Three shinies and Gareth Bale. All in the same pack. That's a half decent pack right there which suggests it is all completely random. It's like they answered my question. I'm questioning randomness, and they're giving me a pack that has no right to exist, really. A pack that's that good. Uh, come on. Where's my Ronaldo? Where is he? Luis Suarez as well. We are. We're getting some... Uh, I tell you what, this, this World Cup, some famous footballers going to play in it. Italy team shot. And the Brazil team picture, they're not team picture, badge picture, shiny badge, whatever. I don't know the terminology. I'm not an expert. What I do know is none of these are Cristiano Ronaldo still, which I'm starting to, I am starting to notice the pile is getting a little smaller. We might not actually be getting him, which I guess leaves us something to hunt for future packs harry kane hello harry kane how are you doing and there we go i haven't had very many england players actually i've rem i remember cody and kane and we already had grealish out of the freebies 
I don't know that we've had any other England players, have we? That seems like a really low number. The uh, the world is trolling me a little bit. We seem to have had loads of Welsh players, but not many England players. I think that's the second time we've had Hakimi. I'm sure I remember him popping out before. So we're getting a few swaps in place. Uh, that one is just a ball. An actual ball. We've probably got, I would estimate, 15 to 20 packs left out of our original 100. So one of them's got Ronaldo in. Unless we're settling for Darwin Nunes, which we're not. Obviously we're not. Right. Come on. He's got to be here somewhere. More shinies in here. All the shinies. There's the England badge. Gee. In a pack that had three shiny badges in. One of them is England. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, and now we're just... We really are. There's England as a team shot. We're getting everything other than Ronaldo. Perhaps he's not in the book. Perhaps he's not in the squad. Perhaps, perhaps there's something I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure Ronaldo still plays for Portugal, right? They can't deny us a sticker. Edda Militao, another one of my showdown boys. We could definitely put a squad together out of these. Another England player now. Two England players back to back. Oh, Walker and Bakayo Saka. Now we're starting to get. Now we're getting somewhere. We're making, we're making some, making some progress on this book. After moaning there wasn't a lot of England, we just picked up a load of England stuff. Jordan Pickford now as well. They're, they're all coming. The whole England squad's going to be in here at this rate. We are. We're getting. We're getting through the packs though, so we are running out of time for Ronaldo. We've got Ronaldo instead. Is that is that compromised? Luka Modric as well. He's quite good at doing a football, I've heard. Um, come on. Come on. Ronaldo, me. Calvin Phillips as well now. And there he is, boys and girls. Cristiano Ronaldo. We don't even have to clickbait it. We have pulled Messi, Ronaldo, Mbappe, Neymar, and Gabriel Jesus. What more could you want? Um, we've still got more packs. I don't even know what we're hunting for now. We just want players we haven't already got. We're filling in the gaps. But we've we've got all the big guys, all the big stars in one go. You see, we don't mess around when we do these sticker openings, folks. We get everybody. There's no, there is nobody missing. Let me know down in the comments if there's a proper top-level world superstar that we haven't had. And I, I don't believe such a thing exists. I might have my memory jogged when they appear and I'm like oh yeah we didn't already have them um, but I think we've done pretty well and we've still probably got at least 10 packs to go this book is going to be uh, be looking pretty good after this a Germany team picture there um, Argentina team picture oh it's it's beautiful stuff folks beautiful and there we Go with that pack. Right. Maybe it's not even as many as 10. Maybe five packs to go. The pack is getting... The pile is getting small now. That's Spain. And then... I'm, st I'm racking my brains trying to think if there's anyone I'd be disappointed that we don't have. I don't know that there is. If we were only doing one box of these stickers... I, I saw C and R in a red shirt. But have we got Ronaldo again? But no, it's Connor Roberts. And that is uh, possibly the most disappointed anyone has ever been. <laughs> oh, no. Connor Roberts is going to be cross with me now. Jordan Henderson, another England player. We've got quite a few Americans as well. I think we've got quite a lot of everything. Uh, Switzerland... How many? So I guess it's 500 stickers, isn't it? Sadio Mane, we hadn't had him before. So I guess he counts as a uh, a decent player that we didn't already have. Um, but yeah, 500 stickers. I would assume there's probably in the region of 600 or so in the in the album as a whole. So we should make a good a good indentation on it with one box. Obviously, there's doubles in here as well. But our book is going to look 
Pretty uh, pretty well looks. There you go. There's one of the special stickers. So an extra sticker in our final in our final pack. We get Guillermo Ochoa, um, who is a legend. I have no idea what we're supposed to do with it. There's no space in the book for that. Um, I mean, the obvious answer is we put him on eBay. We'll put that to one side. Um, so we got just the one special sticker um, and a second key for more as well. I don't know which I'm more excited about. But yeah, these, there's no room for them in the sticker album. So it is a strange one. But there we have it, boys and girls. One box of stickers, one Mbappe, one Messi, one Ronaldo, one Neymar. I'm saying one. There's two of most of them because they're all in the team picture as well. I think that'll do very nicely. Let me know down in the comments what you've got in your first packs, what you're still looking for, how jealous you are of what I've just pulled in this video. And like I say, if you want to get involved in doing some swaps with me, um, EGX is the place to do it in a couple of weeks at the London XL. And if you can't make it there, I'm sure there'll be other opportunities as we get closer and closer to the World Cup. We've got a couple of months yet, haven't we? Plenty of time for us all to get our albums complete. If you have enjoyed this kind of video, I know it's something very different. We do it every couple of years for the major tournaments. Sometimes you love it, sometimes you don't. So I need to gauge whether you want any more of this kind of content on the channel by how this video does. So if you do like it and you want to see more of it, make sure you leave a thumbs up on it because it will help it do better in the algorithm, which in turn will bring in more views. And then I'm more likely to make a second one. Otherwise, um, you might just have to keep an eye on me on Twitter but I will no doubt make a big song and dance when I complete the book if we don't make any more videos here. But if you have enjoyed it and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notifications on. And thank you very much for watching.